Stop trying to slap atheists in the face. Stop trying to go around and digging around in these Christians' lives you don't agree with and trying to slap them in the face. Your concern should not be the people on YouTube or Flickr or whatever or Blip TV or, or MySpace or whatever or Facebook. Your concern should primarily be, you know, unless people are preaching something that's, you know, unless they're leading people astray from Christ or unless they're attacking you, you know, and that's another issue. Your concern should primarily be the Christians with whom you associate to make sure that they are in line. You know them. You know whether they're in the faith or not. If you have any context for faith whatsoever. Faith is not belief in God. Faith or faith is not belief in, in the existence of God. Faith is trusting God. You might believe in the existence of a car, but that doesn't mean you're going to drive it. When you drive it, you are showing faith in the car, not faith in the existence of the car. Many people, verily, verily, I say to you, many people go around saying, yeah, I've been a Christian. I know what that's about. I used to, quote, unquote, note the quote fingers, I used to believe in God. Faith in Jesus Christ is about salvation through Jesus Christ. Not the fact that he existed. Not the fact that he was God's son. But it strictly has to do with, and you can you can just imagine when I teach like this, uh, my last video, or last several videos perhaps, the atheists are just flipping out saying, you know, you, you'd better not be teaching this nonsense. But anyway, um, the atheists are none of your damn business. And as much as you teach your children, it is only to take them as far as they will go. And of course, for all you atheists watching, to let it be of their own free will. The details of which you can, you probably cannot understand. How any of this would be verifiable and acceptable to the child rather than shove down the child's throat. There's a big difference. Big freaking difference. You know, you don't tell them fairy tales and ask them to believe it. You say, here's the information. Why is it valid? Why is it invalid? You get, you ask them for rational explanations for why they believe what they believe. Once again, Christianity is a cultic religion, and it's not my business to set, Christ, to set you know, certain Christians right who are Mormons. And I don't believe in Mormons. I'm Catholics, and I don't believe in Catholics. Baptists, and I don't believe in Baptists. To, 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 to dog the Church of Christ. Let them in their own delusion and their own lack of faith. Fine. It is an exclusionary and exclusive group of people what our Christians are. And I know this is unacceptable to 95 at least, I would say, or to 99% to 99.9% of the so-called Christians out there. It is not defined by Baptist, Catholic, you know, or defined by an antithesis to, to atheism, per se. It's defined by God and trusting God. And by trusting God, trusting in Jesus Christ. It is a mystery religion. And if you don't see that, then you really need to get into Christianity, okay? As I said, these videos are for people who are interested and for people perhaps who are in the faith. Um, I haven't found any on YouTube, and that's fine. You get to listen. God bless.